Hello and welcome back to another episode of VGC Guides. As you know, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet dropped a few days ago, and I'm here to talk about the competitive viability of all the new Pokemon. Once again, these guides are focused on VGC, so the things I say here probably don't translate to OU singles. That being said, the topic of today's video is Primeape's ghostly new evolution, Annihilate. Will Annihilate haunt and terrorize the competition, or will it simply fade into the background, as all ghosts are fated to do? Alright, the first thing I want to go over is this thing looks scary, as it should. It is a ghost evolution of Primeape, and Primeape already has... I mean, Primeape doesn't... Don't get me wrong, Primeape doesn't look scary or anything, but like... This really does truly look like they're trying to make Primeape more terrifying, right? And so the first thing I want to go over is this fighting ghost typing, which... In VGC, I don't recall ever having to deal with the fighting ghost typing. However, I did play Ubers towards the last couple months of Sword and Shield, and Mars Shadow was an issue there, right? Like, it wasn't obscenely overpowered, at least I didn't think it was, but it was good, like, it was a problem. Your normal response to ghost types is, you know, check it with a ghost or a dark type, and you can't check this with a ghost or a dark type, because it will beat that. Fighting, obviously, you are super effective into a lot of types. You got normal, you got rock, you got steel, you got ice, you got dark. And Ghost, while it isn't super effective into as many types as fighting, is really spammable because there's not a lot of types that resist it. And the two types in the game that do resist it, fighting beats, which is why this mon has potential to be kind of strong, right? Not to mention the types that are super effective against Ghost, you also check because your Ghost type check, or your Ghost type counters, you counter with Ghost, and your Dark type counter, you counter with fighting, right? So right off the bat, that's good. Now, looking at this thing's abilities, it technically doesn't have a bad ability. Like, all the abilities are technically usable on this mod, right? Vital Spirit not being able to fall asleep is huge, because anybody who's played VGC is, knows that sleep is broken. Um, my 6v6 OU players, you have sleep claws, so it's not as big of a deal, but sleep is broken in VGC. Nothing is more painful than watching an Amoongus put all four of your Pokemon to sleep while Trick Room is up. So Vital Spirit is usable if you're really worried about sleep. The next you have Inner Focus, right? Can't flinch, which is cool for like Rock Slide, but I'm not too worried about like Rock Slide or Icicle Crash flinches when I'm a fighting type and I'm resisting Rock Slide. Uh, and you're also immune to fake. Uh, you're also, you know, as a Ghost type, immune to fake out. And I'm not sure if there's any scrappy fake out users. If there are, I can't imagine they'd be too great. But it also prevents you from being intimidated. Now, not being intimidated could be usable. And it could be a good ability until you look at the hidden ability of Defiant. When your attack is raised by two stages, if you don't... If anybody remembers Defiant Thunders from the Dynamax metagames, yeah, Defiant, right? Um, and Defiant is cool. Where, like, right, Inner Focus not being able to be intimidated by Inner Focus is cool. Until you realize that you can just have Defiant and do that but better, right? Instead of being at neutral after an Intimidate, you'd be at plus one, right? So right off the bat, like... Great ability. So, right off the bat, like, good ability in Vital Spirit, better ability in Inner Focus, and even better ability in Defiant, right? So now, I want to talk about this thing's stats, right? Because moves aren't important if you don't have stats to back it up. And so right off the bat, you get 110 HP, 80 defense, and 90 special defense. That's quite bulky, for, like, for uh, the stigma that, like, Ghost types are typically not bulky, having like low HP regardless of the defenses. This breaks that. 110 HP is quite large, right? If you want, if you want to, like a scale of reference, um, Amoongus had 114 HP and lower defenses, I think. We're actually going to look right now, right? So Amoongus had 114 HP, 70 defense, and 80 special defense. So while you have 4 less base HP, you have 10 more defense and 10 more special defense. Apologies if my short-term memory is off, right? So already you have pretty great defensive stats, and 115 attack realistically isn't all that bad. Like, there's ways to bolster that, and 115 attack, like, it's, again, it's not low. It's not high. It's not, like, Bax Caliber or Lando T levels of high, but it's not low. Like, I've seen Pokemon with lower attacks also have an impact, right? Like, offensively have an impact. And again, with, uh... We scroll back up here to... Defiant, like, there's ways, you have ways to bolster that attack. Now, obviously, the special attack isn't all that important because you're not going to use special moves on this thing. And the thing that really gets me with this mod that almost made it great is its speed stat. Now, base 90 is nothing bad, right? You still outspeed a lot of good Pokemon, like, you outspeed Goldango, you outspeed Baxcalibur, you outspeed... I'm not sure if you outspeed Dragonite, actually. 
you outspeed Dragonite. I mean, you out like you outspeed with base eighty. You outspeed some good mons, right? Um, so yeah, with base ninety, like you outspeed some good mons. You outspeed Max Caliber. You outspeed Great Tusk. I've heard this thing is good in singles. I haven't looked at it in doubles. You outspeed the Rodon forms, which is useful. Seru Ledge, if that thing is any good. Um, just go down the list of things you outspeed. I'm looking for like legitimately good things that you could outspeed. I mean, there's not a lot, but like you outspeed some you outspeed some mods, right? Um, but you're not quite you don't quite hit that base 100 benchmark that a lot of Pokemon want to hit, and you're not faster than base 100, which would be really useful. But like I said, there's ways to work around that. Now, before we get onto the sets, let's talk about some of the moves this thing gets. Like first and foremost, like okay, on evolution you get Shadow Punch, and like okay, if you're playing evasion Pokemon that aren't Chansey, sure, this is useful, but for the most part, I don't see people using Shadow Punch on this Mon. Um, now, I want to talk about Rage Fist, right? So, we all remember Rage with, like, its 20 base power normal type move that boosts your attack. This is... At first glance, I thought this was going to be a similar thing, but it's actually kind of not bad, right? You, uh... For every attack you hit, you get... It, uh, another 50 base power added to the move, right? So it's 50 base power initially, you take a hit, you're at 100, you take another hit, you're at 150. This is at least... I think that's how it works. Yeah, so power increases by 50 each time the user is hit. Now I'm not sure if you have to keep using Rage Fist in order to keep that effect, or if it will just stay that way as long as it's on the field. But it's like potential, like there's potential for some really cool like technician bullet seed stuff on this, like technician multi-hit moves on the side, or not even, t not technician, skill link, or even like with the uh, loaded dice item that we have now, you can hit yourself multiple times and have a really strong move, right? Um, Because after five hits, this is a 300 base power ghost type move. Um, We've been having some issues with a certain 300 base power ghost type move in singles as well. Uh, and so, like, go again, Ghost being a spammable type and able to get, like, insane base power like that is kind of crazy. Uh, other than that, for Ghost coverage, it isn't really all that great, right? Um, going down the list, like, I missed it. You have Shadow Claw, which, I mean, 70 BP isn't great. High crit chance, sure, but, eh, there's better moves. I mean, Nightshade as well, but that's typically better used on Pokemon that don't have a better attacking stat, and, like, even with Nightshade, you'll still probably end up doing more damage with even like Shadow Punch at 60 base power because of your attack stat. Uh, moving on, I mean Shadow Ball, but we already talked about a special attack. You're probably not using Shadow Ball, and if you are, I'm sorry, you're throwing your game. Uh, now I want to talk about Phantom Force, right? Because a lot of Pokemon got Phantom Force this gen because it's now a TM. Phantom Force, in theory, is a good move. It's a two-turn move, which is usually pretty easily to predict because, or usually pretty easy to play around because you can just protect which is why phantom force is great because you break it to protect right the problem with phantom force is is if you know you're slower than the target you just take the hit and then they have a whole turn where they're literally vulnerable and can't do anything right um and so phantom force like in on paper is like a good move but in practice it's not um and so that's really all you have for ghost coverage uh as far as fighting coverage goes you have some better options um Seismic Toss you won't use for the same reason that you're not using Nightshade. Um, you could technically use Cross Chop, but the 80 base, like the 80 base accuracy is really quite low. Um, again, like from VGC standpoints, anything lower than base 90 is just not, anything, anything lower than 90 accuracy really isn't worth using. Um, and there's no reason to ever really use Cross Chop when you have close combat, which is just in general, like a significantly better move. It's the same power points better accuracy, better base power, and while it can't crit, um, having that consistent damage that does not miss is oftentimes better. And like, technically you could use Final Gambit here if you really wanted to, but let's be honest, making a game into a 3v4 instead of a 4v4 because you want to, like, without a guarantee of a KO because you could always hit something with more HP or just better HP investment than you, not typically a great option. Like. I've seen Final Gambit strats used in the past, and I've never lost to them. Uh, other than that, I mean, like your fighting type, you have low sweep, which is like okay for speed control, which we'll talk about in a minute. 
you have brick break and like i said if screens ever become prominent this could be usable uh you do get bulk up here so you can do some setup straps with this thing as well and then you also get drain punch now drain punch is actually pretty good 75 base power which isn't crazy but you also get hp like you get hp with the back right um and for mon with like as much bulk as it has like you can you can actually like effectively use drain punch on this mon because you'll be able to tank the hits and then get some of the hp back uh, potentially turning like two three hit KOs or like two hit KOs into three hit KOs and three hit KOs into like four or five hit KOs because of drain punch rate. Other than that, there's not a lot of fighting type moves you would use. Like we already went over close combat, and then in general, this thing has three op So this thing has three options for speed control, right? You have they're actually not in here; they were elsewhere. You have um, you have low sweep, which is probably your best speed control option because it's stab. If you really wanted to use speed control. You also have Rock Tomb, if you wanted Rock Coverage and Speed Control. Ultimately, if you wanted this thing for Speed Control, or wanted this thing to have Speed Control, these are the options I would recommend. Um, it does get Bulldoze, but again, Bulldoze comes with the... Uh, the th Bulldoze comes with the problem of having to play around your own Protects in order to make it useful, whereas Low Sweep and Rock Tomb don't. And so ultimately, it's just... If you feel comfortable, you can use Bulldoze because you get both of the Pokemon slowed. Great. But otherwise, like, I personally would use low sweep uh, over anything and then i like i'd use low sweep over rock tomb a because of stab and b because rock tomb can miss and 95 is the biggest lie in pokemon other than that this mon has like decent coverage moves like going through its level up you obviously get um i mean you get stomping tantrum ground coverage is always really good hits a lot of things super effectively you get you get, oh we already talked about you get u-turn which is nice for pivoting if you get like not that you would ever you turn this mon out because you're not getting intimidated. You're never actually having your stats drop from intimidate. It does get the elemental punches, so you could fit pretty much any stab move you want on here. But for the most part, if you wanted an elemental punch, you could just use Terra Blast, um, because the uh, the burn, para, and freeze from the punch moves I think are only like ten percent. I, I know it's low, and Terra Blast is usually just a better option because then you can get stab out of them. You do get Seed Bomb, which is cool. I guess like if you if you want grass coverage on your team this thing does get seed bomb um poison jab is useful if you need to take out some fairies you get rock slide as well and like when there's a rock slide there's a way <laughs> 2017 uh you also get a gunk shot if you again it like if you like living life on the edge you can use gunk shot um i personally would just use poison jab if you're really desperate for a poison stab uh you do get sub and you can do some like sub setups with this thing if you really wanted to that's more of a singles thing it can be used in vgc sub is very annoying in vgc uh again you get earthquake but if you're running earthquake you may as well just run bulldoze so you can get speed control since you're it's not stab and it has a damage reduction from hitting multiple targets anyways you get stone edge again if you want to live life on the edge i'd rather just use rock slide if i'm using rock coverage um outrage is not good what else was there yeah so this is close combat and then this thing does get night slash right um so yeah like it has some decent coverage moves um you can you can fine tune this thing to do a lot of different things if you need to patch a hole on your team that you have and so now moving on to some sets right uh the first set you can always talk about is like choice scarf right um choice scarf you're almost always going to run defiant on this one i really see no reason to run nerf focus when you have defiance and i just in general, I don't prefer Vital Spirit to Defiant. I think the opportunity cost of running Vital Spirit over Defiant is just too high. And so with the Defiant set, you probably run Close Combat, you run Rage Fist. Since you're Scarf, you can actually run Low Sweep or Rock Tomb uh, for Speed Control because you're Scarf and faster. And then like your last move is probably like a coverage move, so you can even just say like Terra Blast here. Uh, Terra Blast and Terra, whatever type you need to Terra. Obviously, Max Max. You can run this thing adamant if you're running Scarf as well, if you really wanted to. It doesn't make much of a difference. The next thing you can talk about is Lumberry. Oops. The next thing we want to talk about is Lumberry. Um, because, obviously, getting burned would kind of suck with this mon. Um, for some reason, something in me thought this had guts. And I thought it was going to be better because of that, but not. It, it doesn't. So, you might want Lumberry on... Like, you could run Lumberry on this thing. Um, and you can either run it as Lum Setup or Lum Attacker. So, like, your Lum Setup would be, like, Protect, and... 
but close combat and rage fist and like bulk up uh if you wanted to on the setup sets you could actually run drain punch as well on the setup sets. um so protect drain punch rage fist bulk up if you wanted to you could even run it without protect and run close combat drain punch rage fist bulk up and like unfortunately rage fist is just the best stab you have and after you take a hit, and with these bulk, with these defenses, you kind of can take a hit. It is a 100 base power ghost move after you take a hit, which really isn't all that bad, right? Um, and so obviously the next set is just a lump. Oops. I'm going to do that every time I'm calling it. The next set you can do is just a lump attacker. I want it defiant. Which again, is a very similar move set with protect and close combat and... Or is I Rage Fist, and then another coverage move, again. It can be any coverage move you need, or it can even be a secondary fighting type move if you don't want to use... If you don't want to lower your stats with the fighting type move, we'll just slap this... No, we're not slapping this on. I don't actually ever see a world where this thing has U-turn in VGC. Uh, so we'll just, again... In general, I'll just throw Terra Bless on there if I say coverage. Um, the next step is, like, you can run Life Orb setup. Oops. I told you I'm going to do this every time. You could run Life Orb on this one because it has because it has Drain Punch, right? So you run Protect, you run Drain Punch, you run Rage Fist, you run Bulk Up. Like if you're running Life Orb and Setup, ah, that's supposed to be Drain Punch. If you're running Life Orb and Setup, like you need Drain Punch um, because you're going to be taking so much. First of all, you're taking 10% Life Orb recoil every turn, and you're taking damage as you're setting up your Bulk Ups. You could also, like, in this slot, if you wanted to run sub, like, sub drain punch could be a set that you could run as well. On the next set is just Assault Vest. Ooh, what did I do? I broke a keyboard. I'm having technical difficulties. Give me a second here. Never mind, I'm good. I literally, I did, yeah, I told you, I'm gonna do that every time. That will be a theme of these videos, is me typing in the item when I need to type in the Pokemon. So anyways, we get Assault Vest, we get Defiance. Um, your Assault Vest set would probably be, again, like, Close Combat, uh, Drain Punch, Rage Fist, and Coverage, right? Um, and then, like, on the Assault Vest set, you'd actually probably run the same bulky instead of fast. Um, you could run this thing with, like, some speed. Um, most attack and like the rest in HP. I'm not saying this is an actual set, I'm just throwing EVs out here. Um, but yeah, so that's mostly your sets. Like, I see Choice Scarf, this one being very strong with Defiant. I see like Lum, Bulk Up being very strong with this mon. I can even see Assault Vest having some use, and you could, you could run cho uh, Choice Band if you wanted to. Like, Choice Band. Again, like same moves as the Assault Vest set, basically, like CC, Rage Fist, Drain Punch, uh, co uh, Coverage. Um, and then just run it with like less speed and run it with Tailwind or something. I really don't like that it does that. Like, I understand why it does that, but like because Terra Blast is a special move, and so it just assumes that you're using special, but I don't like that it does that. Maybe they'll fix it, maybe they won't, but I'm not too concerned about it. So yeah, that's an Ayalip. Um In general, like, I think this one is, like, it's not great. Like, there's certainly better attacking Pokemon you could use. There's more, there's better offensive Pokemon you could use. But it's not bad. Like, if you wanted this thing to work, you could make it work. Because it has Defiant, and because its speed stat works for Scarf, right? Um, its lack of Ghost Coverage also hurts it a lot. The fact that this thing's best Ghost move is Rage Fist, or... Again, if you don't want to use Rage Fist, Shadow Claw at 75 base power, even after Stab, that's not great. Um, if this thing got Poltergeist, that would have been insane. It'd actually be, like, an amazing Pokemon, because Poltergeist is more consistent than Rage Fist. Um, and, like, realistically, if this one had 20 more base speed, that would actually be insane. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's, oops, that's an Ayalip. It's, again, like, like I said, good mon, not bad, not great. You can use it. You probably shouldn't, but you could. So, uh, yeah. And that's all I got today. So make sure to like the video, subscribe for more. And uh, question of the day, like, are you enjoying Scarlet Violet? No matter how far you into it, like, no matter how far into it you are, let me know if you're enjoying it. 
All right. Thanks. Peace.